much of the stress is related to either poverty, desperate poverty, or um, debt, or insecurity, or frozen wages, or reducing wages. And we have a phenomena of uh, increasing use of food banks in Britain, which are a way of people getting some food, by people who are already in work. Mm. And so we've come across situations where nurses working in our National Health Service have to use a food bank in order to survive, and they're in work in the health service. What we're doing is saying we would set up a national investment bank, uh, 500 billion over 10 years, and that would be an investment in crucial infrastructure across the UK. Major railways particularly, but also broadband and uh, uh, access like, uh, like that. But it's also about the region investment, because what we have in Britain, as you have in the USA, as you have in every part of the world, is an incredible imbalance of what goes on. So you look at the USA, where you've got big economic growth in some parts of California, big economic growth in some parts of the East Coast, other areas, like the Great Lakes region, you've got huge uh, social dislocation problems because of loss of jobs in the motor industry and the steel industry. Unless you have a combination of a national aspiration to have good communications and good infrastructure, and you have a determination to invest locally, then you're not going to solve the problem. But if you just say to a global corporation, you come in and do something for us, where are the profits going to go? Are they going to stay in Cleveland? Or are they going to head off to possibly a tax haven somewhere? Mm -hmm.